Hello everyone and welcome to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Karlberg and today we're going to be having a look at the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ has been the he most heavily hit indice out of the big three in the US um, with regards to inflation re and recessionary pressures. However, what we've actually been able to see in the last few days and weeks is a nice reversal pattern starting to form. So today we're going to be having a look and seeing if we have any opportunities to trade the NASDAQ and what that might mean, what that might mean for other sectors going forward. So as we start and we can see the weekly chart, what we've noticed is we had this nice channel, downward sloping channel, and we've been able to break out of this channel quite convincingly. And this has been um, this has been almost two weeks now where we've been able to break out this channel and we're approaching the uh, 50 period moving average which would potentially be that next kind of level of resistance. And that is at the about 14,223 points. So that would be one of our first levels of resistance we're looking at. Now, if we have a look at the RSI, one thing we can see is that really since the start of um, this year, we've been only hanging around the low level between between um, 25 to 50, right? So we've kind of been in that sell-off range. However, this is all the rise above 50, 55 has also been a positive sign that potentially we're starting to see buyers come back and take some control over the market. So there's just some more kind of confirmation on that longer term chart. And as we have a look a little bit closer at the daily chart, we see a similar sort of pattern. So of course, we've still got that We've still got this um, rising RSI. One thing just to be wary of is we are getting close to this kind of overbought region, especially on that shorter term chart, which may indicate that we will see a potential period of consolidation or a retracement before moving back up. And the other thing is we are moving into kind of a choppy resistance zone at that 14,300 level. So what kind of trades do we maybe can we maybe see? Well, we are getting to this overbought stage, so perhaps we're going to see similar to what we saw in November last year, a bit of consolidation, um, maybe a little bit of a pullback before trying again to break through this level. Um, and it is just important that we do keep an eye out on what's happening in the macroeconomic space because, of course, the indices are very heavily impacted by things like that, and that includes what the Fed decides to do with regards to hiking interest rates, if they believe that the worst has kind of come, and they start to taper their, their hiking of interest rates, we may see a more aggressive buying move. Alternatively, if the opposite occurs and inflation starts to get out of control again, we may see this pullback and go back into that range. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Good luck trading.